Hello, I created a 2D DIY LiDAR sensor and I would like to show you today how it works. There are LiDAR sensors available, however I could not find a 2D LiDAR which is potential waterproof and cost efficient. Before we look at the results, let's open it and take a look inside. The LiDAR sensor itself is a TF Luna, a 1D LiDAR with 8 meters of range and 2 degrees opening angle according to the manual. To generate a 2D sweep out of the beam, a motor and mirrors are used to steer the beam. Let's take a look at the construction cross-section. The LiDAR itself is laying on the floor of the housing. Above it are two mirrors, rotated by a motor. Under the ceiling of the housing is an ESP32S controller and a motor controller located. The housing is fully 3D printed. Three magnets and three magnetic sensors are used to determine the position of the two mirrors. A sweep starts when one mirror guides the beam upwards. During the rotation it moves with a continuous angular velocity downwards. A sweep takes a quarter of a rotation, followed by a quarter where the beam is guided against the back of the housing. Since there are two mirrors, the frequency the sweeps are produced is 2.5 Hz. The TF Luna has two lenses. One side sends the beam, the other one receives it. To achieve potential waterproofness, glass is required in the housing. But this leads to a reflection that causes heavy mismeasurements. Therefore both sides need to be separated very well. Now it's finally time to look at some images. Here I have accumulated several frames to increase the point density. On the left hand side we see the sensor's origin. The grid is one meter in square. It catches part of the ground and the ceiling. These points are marked in brown since they get filtered out due to a region of interest filtering. The green dots are noise. The blue and yellow dots are valid measurements in the right height. In this case parts of the wall and the beanbag. At the top right, it shows the distance to the detected object in meters. In this video, we see now just one sweep at the time displayed. But this enables us to track the object within red box. Watch the beanbag as it gets marked. This works as well if the beanbag moves towards us. That was it from me, thank you for watching.